Thank you, Paul, for this uh, excellent general introduction to our workshop with the presentation of our two parallel initiatives, yours in US, ADOPT, and ours in Europe at OBDIS. I'm Professor Martin Laville. I'm Professor of Nutrition at uh, Lyon 1 University and Hospice Civil de Lyon, and working in research both in the Research Center for Human Nutrition and in the INSERM unit, Carmen. And I'm here, as having the pleasure to head the very nice consortium called At Obedis. This consortium was on behalf of ASO. It has been granted by the John Programming Initiative, a healthy diet for a healthy life, and has also the support of the FCRAN Network for Publicity Force. You can see the publication that has been made by the consortium and the name of all the experts that have been involved. They are well-known experts in the field of obesity, but have also specificity in the different fields we want to cover. So now we will focus on the, the aim of uh, this workshop. The aim of the workshop is to try to reach a consensus among cell orders towards a universal description of obesity that could be implemented in all clinical trials. And we will start by the presentation of the proposal from the At Obedis Consortium. As Paul has explained, uh, there is a lot of difference between people. We are all different and uh, people involved in the trial are also all different. That could partly or largely explain the discrepancy between the results of at the different treatments with some good responses and non responses so it is crucial to be able to characterize better the people that are involved in the trial. And the focus of Atobedis was to uh, look at parameters that we think have an impact on the treatment response, but that are rather minimal in order to be feasible in all situations. So we focus to try to find parameters both on the environment uh, context, in the lifestyle, in the physical characteristics and comorbidities that could be easy to implement. We look at uh, the less invasive technique for the patient. We look at the low cost for the sponsors. Uh, we look at the quick collection for the investigator. We use questionnaires that are free of charge and that are translated in uh, several languages, for example. So I will briefly describe what has been our selection. About environment and context, we have uh, selected a homemade medical history of obesity, and you can see the questions that are very common. I'm sure you have all these que questions in your medical record. We have also a very basic two question about education and for quality of life, we have chosen the five question of the EQ questionnaire uh, self-rated health status, very easy to implement. Concerning lifestyle, we have focused both on dietary intake and dietary quality with the EFIC Norfolk free, free frequency questionnaire. And uh, for the diet quality, the Dutch LC diet index. Our experts think that both physical activity and sedentary behavior are crucial in the description of the patient, and they want to have real measurement. So we have chosen to uh, put accelerometers to the subject uh, together to, uh, with the path and physical activity questionnaire. We use very simple tests, the six minute wolf and the hand grip strength. And uh, also uh, we think that the accelerometer will help to monitor the sleep duration and timing if it is done during 44 hours. For sleep apnea, we select the very simple stop bank questionnaire. And we think that we need also some psychological parameters with the passive sex scale and the very used DUBQ for emotional eating. Concerning physical characteristics, we are also very minimal with anthropometry, 
but for body composition, the experts think that DEXA will be the best uh, uh, parameters, much uh, uh, in preference to uh, bioimpedimentary, and we can discuss that further, I think. Concerning comorbid disease, we are also very minimal. Of course, we record the current medication. For diabetes, we only selected glycemia, insulinemia, and HB1C together with family history of diabetes. For hormonal status, it's limited to TSH and menopausal status for women. For cardiovascular risk, we have the lipid parameters, the CRP, we have just uh, one ECG and blood pressure. And we think that our six minute wall test is also useful for cardiorespiratory fitness. We have two questions about smoking, very easy. And for liver disease, we use the traditional uh, NAFLD scores, waiting for better scores, I think. And uh, of course, with a, a questionnaire about alcohol consumption. So in summary, our minimal concept uh, could be summarized in only one table. That means that it's rather simple. We have tried to have the cost in the different country and uh, to have it minimal. And uh, at, in total, to record all these parameters, it is less than three hours in total. So it's our proposition. We think that the parameters are relevant and could explain a part of the discrepancy between uh, the response of the different subjects. We expect that it could be easy to implement both for the investigators, the sponsor, and the, of course, the patient. But now we need to have the panel discussion. We will have the uh, expert from pharma industry. We will have the patient. And we will have also uh, the audience asking questions. Uh, for answering this question, we are lucky enough to have some colleagues from Friend Society, Jelton uh, Mingram for representing ASD, uh, Stefan Bischoff representing experts, SPEN, and we have also members from uh, this uh, Atobe Consortium. So now we will let the floor to the discussion. We are waiting for the question for the audience as a chat will be organized and uh, we will be very, very happy to answer to your question, trying at the end to reach this consensus towards a universal description of obesity that could be implemented everywhere in all clinical trials. Thank you for your attention.